All right, guys, let's go ahead and kick off this makeup collection video in the easiest way possible with primers and setting sprays. And as you can see, my obsession for this past year has been foundations. Don't really know what kicked it off. Don't know what sparked that issue. I do know that I was just tired of mixing colors and I kind of want to find my perfect color. And that's kind of still my goal for this year to so find colors I don't have to mix. So let's start with foundations. Why not? This is the foundation I have. As you can see, I have a backup of it. And I actually have one that is open. This is Heart Rainforest of the Sea. It is in Deep Honey. It is my summer color. I have been working on it this past summer. And I'm about halfway done. So hopefully I'll finish it by the end of this current summer. And this here is my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. This is in the color Chestnut, which is a deeper color for the summer that I mix with Spiced Almond. To get my perfect match, I heard they came out with Nutmeg, which is 11A, which I think may actually be my perfect match for most of the year. We'll see. Next up here, we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. It's in 9.75. I don't really think this is a really good match for me at all in the winter. It may be a better match in the summer. I guess we'll see. I can mix it in with other foundations and make it lighter. And it wears so well. It holds up through the rain even. Because I got rained on one day and it still looked good. This is my Fenty foundation. And this is a perfect shade match for me. It is in the shade 390. I really, 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 really like this color. And I think it works perfectly on my skin settles down nicely this is the bobby brown long what is this thing called skin long wear weightless foundation has spf of 15 and it is in the color warm almond it is a perfect match for me as well so so far i have two perfect matches of foundation next i have the Too faced born this way um just the born this way foundation that's what's called and i have it in the color chestnut as you can see, I've kind of been working on it as well. Kind of marking up for some painting projects. It is also a really, really, really good match. This is the Ordinary Foundation and the Serum Foundation. It is in the color 3.1R. And it does not match me perfectly. It's really, really deep. Kind of orangey. Even in the summer, it might be just not a good match. This is NARS Macau. I think this is actually a perfect match for me in the summer. Sorry for the shaking, guys. Perfect match for me in the summer, and I really, really, really like it. This is the Bobbi Brown Moisture Rich Foundation. I love it and hate, hate that they discontinued. As you can see, I made really good progress on this. Actually, probably lower than that now because I've been using it some more since I marked it. And it is in Warm Almond 6.5, my perfect shade. This is the Peach Perfect Foundation by Too Faced. It's currently in my Move It Out March project pan that I'm working on and I really really like it I have it in the color mocha and it is a perfect match as well <sighs> y'all this foundation right here is probably one of the best matches and I had to thank my best friend for it because she figured out that I was actually spicy brown in the matte and the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless Woo! so good for every day love 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 it this is the in the little baby corner over here Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have it in the color Coco. I did have a different color last summer and it worked pretty well. But I only really like it as a mixer. I don't really like it as a standalone foundation. Speaking of mixers, this is my NYX Olive Mixer. Because I find that most foundations kind of run too orange for me. And I do need to make it a little bit more olive. And sometimes it can be too, just too in too anything with what I need. As you can see, because clearly I'm looking for perfect matches this is a random product by Tarte it is the Tarte Guard 20 in shade medium I use this to mix in with deeper foundations to make a color that I need in the, throughout the other parts of the year this is the ordinary full coverage foundation and I have it in 3.0 Y and it just was not the color I needed I bought two colors because I didn't know what color I needed and it's just really really light this is a Physicians Formula Foundation. I really want to support Physicians Formula because they came out with deeper shades. And this is in DN3. And it's really not dark enough for me. It's more of a concealer shade, to be honest. I uh, wish I could have returned it. I didn't return it. I lost the receipt. <clears throat> Poo on me. And I probably could use DN4, but it looked a little orange, so I didn't pick up a second one. 
and this is deep sand in the Tarte what is this crazy one called empowered foundation hydrogel foundation it's okay I don't really love how it looks on my face on its own it definitely needs to be mixed with something to do better but the coverage is ridiculous and this is from Lancome, the Tinted Oil. I have it in 470 and it is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. And I love it. But this one is unopened. I haven't used it yet. So I'm saving that one as a backup because I used another one. And this is the Becca Radiant Skin Foundation that they discontinued. They also changed the colors on me. I have this in sandalwood. But now sandalwood is like three shades deeper than I need it. Than I actually wear now. So I'm probably a tobacco or an ember. And I really like that you'll see that in my powder foundations. <coughs> Excuse my coughing. Let's move on to some setting sprays. This is the Mario Badescu setting spray. It is new to me. It is in the cucumber one. I am hoping to give it a good try in the near future. This is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray, which I have been loving this summer. I love a glow in the summer. Just want to glow, 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 glow. So good. I really, really like it. I got it in a boxy charm. Great, great boxy charm that month. This is the Kula um setting spray it's really a, like a setting spray and the spf all in one i got this probably about a week ago and i've been giving it a try to kind of see it i really like how it's the makeup i really like how i can have spf in my setting spray i'm looking for that for the summer the two face three in one is pretty much basically what it says a primer a setting spray a replenisher it just does everything for me it's just like the liquid but in spray form and it's so convenient i'll probably travel with this this weekend yeah. Next, as you can see, I have doubles of the Urban Decay. I have it in the Chill, which is my favorite in the All Nighter. I just bought it because it was on sale. And hey, they changed the bottle. I got good prices on this. But I love the Chill, and it's pretty much almost empty at this point. I'll use it in the end. Last but not least is Max Fix Plus. Staple products will never be without it in my collection. So this is just unopened. As like as you can see, I have one, two, three, four open already, and I used up tons during the year, so they'll go in no time. So let's move to some primers. The one thing I don't really go through a whole lot really fast is primers. This is an eye primer from Laura Mercier. It's just like a I don't know, like a little cream shadow thing. Really can't see it. I won't focus on it. Are you focusing? No. Anyway, it's a little cream shadow and it's in wheat. It's just a white cream base for me to make shadows pop on. Same thing with the little stick from her. It is in all natural. Pretty much the same color as the wheat. This is the Lorac Behind the Scenes eye primer. I don't love it. It's okay. It came with an eyeshadow palette and I've kind of decluttered all the rest of them or used them up one. This is the NYX glitter primer the best investment i have made all year i love glitter shadows and if you know me i love a popping glitter shadow and this is the milani eye primer emily noel from youtube everybody knows her she's huge on on youtube she's been around for about 10 years now i've been watching her from the beginning she has been recommending this this whole time and i finally picked it up last year and i have been loving 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 as you can see I am working it out almost done with it. These are some little primer samples. Smashbox photo finish, photo focus one, photo finish one. The Laura Geller Spackle, the Becca Backlight, which I really don't like. I gave away the entire whole bottle that I bought during last year's Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. This is the first light primer. I'm hoping this goes on sale during this year's 21 Days of Beauty so I can snatch up a whole bottle of this because I love it. As you can see, the Smashbox Photo Finish is one of my favorites. I have it in a little bitty. I have it in a full size. I have it in um, a little different version of it, which is pore filling. And I have the Becca Ever... What is this called? Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. The names are so long on things. They should just say primer. Matte primer. It's pretty good. I've been using it pretty well. And these are unopened. All these are unopened, actually. Except for the Becca and the Photo Focus. I don't tend to open primers until I get ready to use them. And this one is the little purple bottle, which is the pore minimizing. I find it pretty much just the same thing as the basic, but I like the basic better. And this is the Dr. Jart Pores No More Luminizing Primer, which I got in the boxy charm. I haven't opened it because I want to save it until I'm ready to use it. I want things open and expiring. This is the Fab First Aid Beauty Coconut Pro Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. 
I love, love, love this. I've already used up two trial sizes of this <laughs> within the past few months, and I am saving this up. I also have the Tarte Maracuja Oil. I like to use oil sometimes on my foundations, especially when they're more high coverage, such as the Bobbi Brown one that I talked about. The Skin, the, the Skin Longwear Weightless one. It can be kind of thick, as well as the Milani Conceal Perfect and the Urban Decay All Nighter. These all kind of have the same texture of thickness to them. And they need a little bit of help sometimes when my skin is drier. Well, guys, that does conclude. I'll just give you an overview of my drawer. Yay! That does conclude this drawer and this section of my makeup collection. Please feel free to leave any comments below of your favorite foundations. As you can see, I'm kind of a foundation junkie this year. Any setting sprays, you know they have SPF because I'm always I'm looking for one. I found the cool one and I have a couple more on my list of things to try. But please, please give me any recommendations you do have. And I would truly, truly love it if you would give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe and come back for more content later. Thank you so much. Have a great evening, day, whenever you may be watching this. Ta-ta!